Here's how to tell if you're a medium. Are right, you ready? One of my first teachers, Arthur, told me this, and it's so, so spot on. So he was like, all right, think of a song, like close your eyes and think of a song. Okay, so you got the song in your head, right? Okay, who's singing it? Is it the person, like the the band singer, or is it you singing it in your head? So a psychic is going to say, oh, it's me, I'm singing the song, the tune. And a medium's going to hear Pearl Jam, like I was singing. I can hear his voice. So that's a medium tendency. Okay, where psychic, if you ask my husband, he'll be like, oh, I'm fucking singing it. Okay. So then there's that little tip. But now it's the difference. Like, I'm not saying just because you can do that doesn't mean you can all of a sudden start channeling, like, and do past life regression and unlock uh, Akashic Records and, you know, see Aunt Auntie Faye that's passed away, you know, in 1953 and hear what she has to say. That will come. Uh, I was terrified, actually, to say yes to mine. I'll never forget when I was a kid. Of course, I'd been paying psychics. I used to call, like, Auntie Cleo or whatever on TV when I was, like, eight, nine, got in trouble by my mom for charging it to the phone lines and all that shit. Always been intrigued by psychics, witches, and all that shit. And, I mean, I'm, you know, believe in God and everything. So, imagine that. So, uh, as soon as I could, I was about 16. I went to a, a reader and she told me some stuff. And then when I was about 17, I found a really good psychic. And, and looking back, I know now why I was doing all that. You know, tra- trauma survivors, we want the truth. We also want to know that we're going to be okay because nobody around us is safe. So, having answers, like, is everything going to be okay? That's why I would seek answers. I didn't know I had that in myself. I didn't know that I created my own reality. And what I teach now in Hot Moms is so powerful. And I teach you how to tap to your soul, right? And, and always have that higher way to make decisions and align decisions and really get in touch with your spiritual side. If you don't say yes to it, you can choose not to use the gift. I wouldn't want that life. I've tried it before and it's just, it's like God just really kicked my ass trying to get me to wake up and do my light work because you're you're gifted and you're not, you're not using the gift he gave you. He gave you, right? The masculine energy of giving, you're not receiving it. So it's very important that you do the work. You use your gifts and you can use the gifts, through teaching. You can use the gifts through being a car mechanic, through a Botox injector. You don't have to sit there and rub a crystal fucking ball and chant to use your spiritual gifts. Y'all don't know that I be channeling. I just fucking channel. So that's one way to tell if you're a medium or a psychic. And then secondly, here's some things that prompt you to think a little bit deeper. Maybe you see stuff. Maybe you saw stuff. Um, I did. I would get I would I would feel stuff, you know, like I would feel creepy vibes or I would feel a deep connection with animals. That's the thing. Um, Whereas now my dog now, I just know I know exactly what she's feeling and thinking and I can give her stuff that she needs. And um, that's that's really cool. And I used to look at people that were pet psychics and think you're a fucking lunatic. But now I get it. So uh, a deep connection with animals and nature and then moving one step further is prophetic dreams. Um, I had a lot of prophetic dreams where, and they started really coming through in high school. I remember calling my friend Rachel one time and I was like, did you go home with this guy? Did you do this? Did you do that? And she goes, uh, have I talked to you? And I was like, uh-uh, I dreamed it, I think. And she was like, that's fucking weird. Cause I did. And I had a lot of those dreams, like random ass shit that I would dream that'd be spot on. And I was like, I think I'm onto something. And so I remember going to that psychic lady and y'all, she had rats running across her floor. God rest you, Glenda, I love you. And her teeth would come out like they were uh, dentures. And that bitch was spot on though. Like she was spot fucking on. It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. But uh, she told me, she goes, you have the gift uh, if you if you ever want choose to use it, it's it's there if you want it. And I was like, oh, hell no, I don't want it, bitch. This is some witchcraft shit. I ain't trying to talk no dead people. I ain't, I was I was so scared, y'all, of this shit. I was so scared of the gift. I was scared of the gift. Huh? If I only knew that was gonna unlock the life that I wanted. Here we are. But anyway, so I had prophetic dreams. So maybe ask yourself, do you have a feeling of things that are like if someone walks in a room or you get around somebody? Can you kind of pick up on their vibe? Can you kind of pick up like they're a cheater or they're lying or wow, they're a good person or you just you you get these vibes. Okay, you are probably one of the Claire's. Okay. also, uh, it got to a point where when I would work with clients, God, this was a nightmare. This is why I don't do a lot of one on one work anymore. I just have hot moms and I have my courses. Um, 
I would have a client that was going to come in the next day. And I'll never forget one night I dreamed about, this has happened many times. I dreamed, and a lot of people that work from a higher place, they'll meditate in the morning about their clients and tap in and see what they want. Well, me, it would come in my dreams. I had to really set up some energetic boundaries for this because I wouldn't get any sleep. Um, But let's say I was going to meet with this one girl and, and that night before her boyfriend had passed away. Not that night before, but previously her boyfriend passed away. I didn't know any of this shit. He just shows up to me. And tells me about her, asks her some things, tells me what to tell her. And I told her and she like, it was, it was breakthrough, like, oh my God. So as a medium for me, um, and now I I can channel now, um, like last weekend when I was getting a massage before I got there, I told Skip, I'm like, I don't know what's going on or where car accidents are coming through. Or like, I don't know. I don't think it's me going to have a car accident. I don't know. There's some, something is coming in about a car accident and he knows poor Skip, like he knows now where I'll tell him some shit. And he goes, okay, because he knows it's for somebody. Let's remember this. Let's do this. Let's do this with that. And I went to a massage. Sure enough, that day, Amanda that was doing my massage, I said, okay, uh, does car accidents have anything? And she told me, yes, gave me a couple of stories. And I said, wait a minute. There's a guy here. I told her what he looked like. And she goes, oh, my God, that's crazy. That's my stepdad. That's him. And, yeah, it would have been, uh, you know, all this stuff. And she was processing some stuff. And I told her what he wanted me to tell her. Um, and, and it here, and it feels like this, I mean, back up, this is like the medium thing where I just went over in the first of the video, how to tell if you're a medium or psychic, but I'll never forget when my grandmother passed. This is when I actually started opening up to the gift. My grandmother had passed. I was in her closet and I remember hearing her (laughs) bitch about how dirty the closet was and saying, Lord, this closet and Jan did this and the clothes. And I remember in my, I remember talking out loud going, don't worry about it. Just, I just wear those shoes. I'm looking for the shoe. I'm looking for this. And like, I was just talking and then I caught myself and I was like, skip bro. Like I fucking went schizophrenic just now. Like I was just talking to nanny. Like I could hear her voice clear as day. Okay. So I contacted, (laughs) I Googled when I over, I just moved to Cobb County, Georgia and I Googled like medium psychic. I, 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 it's been a minute since I had like, dibble dabbled in anything with with this stuff and I googled um psychic media or medium something I wanted answers and then I saw a dragonfly swarm and I start looking up the meaning and it's like sacred Indian shit and I'm like oh my god what's gonna happen because you're so scared like when you grow up in a southern Baptist place and and psychics and mediums I mean it's scary and the unknown like you view it as like a it is scary so I'm like frightened and I'm like I need answers so I'm gonna go to this medium I need to know I need answers because I heard from my grandma and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Well, I get in there and he tells me, <clears throat> he explains, like sits me down and explains like, here's what's going on. You are this, you are that. Now I'm going to teach you how to do this and this and that. And he did. And that's where I kind of learned level one Reiki. And he taught me a lot about uh, just embracing this medium, embracing the gift, embracing channeling and embracing all that stuff. And it's a, it's a really, uh, it's a practice because you have to learn what's yours, what's not, what's, I mean, that's why I work with Sarah right now and, and the shaman and she's got a wonderful course, by the way, if any of you ever want to um, go into becoming a, a a certified energy healer and learning how to do that shaman work, she's phenomenal. Sarah Norwood, just look her up um, in the group here and she's got a little course and she shows you about all that stuff. Um, whereas, so anyway, there's that because my work's a little different. Hers is like, she is a shaman and she teaches you. Um, in her course about energies and chakras and, and past life stuff. She goes into that. Anyway, if I looked him up and when I went to search medium, I was w- going to call the sign. There was a sign out and that's what it was. There was a sign out and I looked it up to get the phone number. But when I called, it was him. And I was like, hey, bro, are you, I'm looking for like a medium. I've experienced some things and I just kind of want some answers. It's kind of weird. And he goes, well, that's interesting because I'm not that sign, but I am a medium. I'm like, oh God, well, this must be divine i'll never forget going to the appointment and that song nirvana was playing like um what's that song uh something what is it teen spirit <sighs> something entertain us and i'm like oh my god like you know scared again just scared and so i had to learn because fear comes from the unknown so i just had to learn about it and now i'm full on like you know i'm a master healer because i didn't understand who i was and i really had to, i had to come into understanding who I was from a soul level so that I could implement more healing into my work and doing the hormones and doing the fitness and the life coaching and business and money and relationships and all that stuff. 
Um, but that's kind of how to tell, you know, there's so many different ways you can see, you can feel, uh, things may show up, you know, it's just a spirit world. Okay. We're, it's, a, it's a big spirit world. So learn about it, embrace it because with everything that may seem negative or scary, there's an equal opposite of the equal opposite. And it's phenomenal. I would say that by not choosing to tap into your gifts, you're not fully stepping into your God given divine purpose. Um, I encourage you all, you know, nurses, you nurses out there, teachers, um, most women, you know, our gift of feminine gift is intuition. So it's really important to, to, uh, open up to that because we need you, we need you, we need you to be tapped in so that you know, which child needs certain things or, you know, just like when I came in nutrition, people were like, how do you know this stuff? How are you getting the answers? How are you receiving healing and helping these other people heal their shit of like doctors can't even do it? Like, how are you doing that? I'm like, it just make it's coming. It just came. It just came to me. It's just channeled. It just downloads is what we call it. Downloads. And, um, learning, learning about all that. It's phenomenal. It's, and it's allowing you to step into your purpose because now I've realized I don't work with people that aren't intuitive, a hairstylist, um, massage therapist, I'm not going to work with someone that that's asleep. I need somebody that's intuitive. Hell, even my Botox lady back in the day, she was, she was a medium, you know, and those people, they're just gifted, you know, everything they do, it's just, they're tapped in, they're tuned in and turned on. And a lot of people won't tell you, you know, if you look at people like one of my coaches, Dan, like he channels, he, he wouldn't, he probably wouldn't say that because he probably doesn't believe in like woo woo, but he channels. There's a reason why people step into their 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 genius zone and their flow it's a channel if you've ever watched that movie soul how he gets in the zone on his piano that's something that yes he may be a learn like a a uh, educated musician but there's also a reason that he can get in the zone and they create this music like where does it come from well it's channeled it's downloaded yes you can learn certain things but i don't i don't want to it's like ayahuasca yes it's going to put you in an, into this enlightenment thing but there's also a piece that's missing because this is something that is inside of you. Um, this is something that can't be taught and we all have it. We may not get it in this lifetime, but if we choose to, it's like, it's, it's, it's the key to everything. And so that's why I always say, lean into your triggers, lean into your fears because that's what will unlock it. And if you don't, that's why you're going to continue to struggle with health, fitness, falling off wagons, relationships, failed relationships, failed business ventureships, no money and all that stuff. There's a reason why some of these people that teach abundance and they teach all this stuff seem kind of out there. It's because they've gone there. They're so tapped into their spiritual side. Um, and they, that's why they have it all too, because it's like, it's this new world. So lean into the shit, man. If you're scared of being, if you're scared of all this stuff, it's just another piece of, it's a, it's just a tool. It's just a tool from the toolbox. So let me know if you got any questions, just put a hashtag replay in this. If you are watching after the fact, um, and, and if you got any questions, specific questions about, uh, medium psychics and understanding if what your gifts are or how to use your gifts, just put them in the comments. If I don't know the answer, I will point you in the direction of someone that does have the answer being in this industry. Like I know a lot of really good energy workers, a lot of good psychics, a lot of good mediums. A lot of industry people that do have the gift and they channel and they show up and they do that. Um, so I can definitely point you in the right direction if, if I don't know the answer. Okay. All right. Have a great day.